It's normal for container ships to pitch and roll in heavy seas, but the ship motions and certain wave conditions can sometimes reinforce one another, causing the ship to roll uncontrollably. That can be dangerous for both the crew and the cargo. Containers can get loose or fall overboard. You naturally want to avoid that, so we will present some common situations that can cause extreme rolling, so you can recognize them and prevent them. Here you can see a scale model sailing with waves from a stern. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong in this situation. The waves aren't especially high, the ship is rolling slightly and barely pitching. But the rhythm of the waves can reinforce the ship's normal roll pattern and cause it to roll heavily. This is called parametric roll. To recognize and prevent that from happening, you need to pay attention to four things. 1. The direction of the waves. In this situation, they need to come from a stern up to an angle of 60 degrees. 2. The wavelength. Determine the distance between two wave crests in relation to the length of the ship. 3. The ship's roll period. Use a stopwatch to time five complete rolls, then divide the total time by five. And 4. The wave interval. Choose an orientation point alongside the ship, time how long it takes for five wave crests to pass by then divide the time by 5. If the rolling period, 30 seconds for example, is around twice as long as the wave interval, 15 seconds for example, and the distance between the two wave crests is more than half of the ship length, then you need to take immediate action. Gradually change course to about beam seas and increase the speed of the ship if safety allows. For more information, our notice to mariners and a calculation tool, visit marin.nl slash gyps slash top tier.